Yeah. Go. Go. Hello everyone, uh, the Trail Guy here and welcome to session number 15. And today the topic is, is preparing and packing for a six hour plus run on the trails. And uh, before we do that, I'm going to uh, share with you the uh, quote of the week. It's impossible, said pride. It's risky, said experience. It's pointless, said reason. And give it a try, whispered the heart. So that's the quote for the next month or so. Now, guys, uh, we're going to get started now. Uh, exactly what I prepare and uh, pack for a six hour plus trail run. So first of all, what I like to do is pack up my post run stuff after the run, all my change of gear. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do. First of all, I have a pair of relaxed shoes from Solomon. They kindly donated to me when I was a sponsored athlete. So these are the shoes I have. So I'll pack it in my bag. That's the first thing in the bag. Then I'll have my coat, my jacket, for after, and then I have a towel to wipe myself down with some deodorant. So I'll pack that. Then I'll have a top, my underwear, and my pants. And I'll throw that in here. Then, let me just show you, I have my coffee cup. That's for after. Uh, we always go for a coffee and a bagel sandwich after, usually. So I'll pack my uh, coffee mug and I'll throw that in the bag. And number two, once I've got that down, I'll get, I've got a little box here with my shoes in it here. So I'll get my shoes in here and what I do the night before, I'll mix up my post protein drink that I have after the run. So that'll be all mixed up. I'll have that ready and I'll stick that in this little box here and that's ready to go. So right now I've got the shoes, I've got my post protein drink, that's ready to go. And then of course I've got my clothing for after the run. So that's ready to go. Now I've got a little checklist too. That's a good idea to have a little checklist of, of all the items I need so I don't forget anything. But I'm going to show you exactly what I put in my backpack. <sighs> now the backpack. Here's the backpack right now. Here's what I have. I love the water one. Some people have hydration packs in the back, but I'm so used to having the bottles. I'll have the bottles. So the first thing I'll pack is my wallet, my valuables, and some money and phone. And I'll pack that here. I've got a nice little pocket for that. It's in a plastic bag. I'll put that in the back. That's the first thing I do. Now, for this six hour plus run, if we don't stop anywhere after two or three hours, here's what I'll take. I'll take two of these water bottles full of water. That goes in the backpack. That's two bottles right in here. I'll put that in here. I'll put two more bottles of water here. It's just a nice backpack I got from North Face. I was in Las Vegas a couple of years ago and at their expo they had three of these so I just grabbed them because you know, it's, it's hard to find in stores. So another thing that I'll put in the back, I use for that six hour run five packs of Baby Gourmet. Two of them I'll put back here. And let's see if I can get that in here. I can squeeze it in here. I'll put that back there. So that part is already set up. So that's the uh, Baby Gourmet. Then, because I have a Baby Gourmet on the hour, and on the half hour, what I have is I'll have vegan brownies. So I'll stack those. I've got another extra little pouch. So I'll stick all, basically six of them, if I can get them all in here, basically I can get at least four. Let's see if I can get them in here. We'll stick that in here. We'll get that in here. If you can see what I do here. And I'll just zip it up. So I've got my six vegan brownies in here. Then what I'll do is in this little pouch I have my S caps. And now in a hot day I'll have at least 12 of these in here because I take an S cap every half an hour. So I'll have put it in this little plastic little container. 
I'll stick that in here. And of course, after a while, my trusted jelly beans. The jelly beans go in here too with my S caps. So that's another pocket in here. I've got that all set up in here. That goes in here. And sometimes, depends if it's a long run, I don't stop, I'll put in a BB. I've got a body glide, a little small body glide if I need it already. So I'll stick that in here somewhere. But I'll, on race day, it's very important that I have that. But right now, I'll put it in the backpack. I'll stick it in the back. We've got this. And sometimes, if I'll do it, I'll take maybe a couple gels. But that's just if I need extra ones. So that's for emergency purposes already. Okay, and then another thing. I'll do here, and I'll have the fifth bottle too here. If it's a long run again, over six hours, this is my fifth bottle, hand bottle right here. So that's another one. We've got that. Lately now, for I've heard uh, Zantac 150 is good for upset stomachs, and I'm going to be using this in Leadville because it's high altitude. So I'll be trying this for the first time. And then, of course, I've got some toilet paper if I have to go to the washroom. So I'll, I'll stick that in my pack too. So that's what I pack in here. Now to get ready, dress-wise. Here we go now. I'll take my shoes off. I'll take my hat off. I wore this hat. It's the eve of the Olympics. Go Canada, go. That's why I'm wearing this hat and the shirt. But the shirt goes off. The hat goes off. I'll put on my top. I wear Icebreaker a lot. It's great, great apparel. Icebreaker. Merino wool, and I've got this. It's just nice, just if I'm getting cold, cold, cold or hot. It's the zipper's nice to have. So that's one top. Then I'll have my compression pants by Skins. This stuff is just so good. It compresses, gets oxygen flowing in the muscles, and it and it reduces lactic acid buildup. So I'll have those on first. I'll put on my shorts. Get my shorts on. Now, here's something new now from New Balance. They got us a hat ready for night running, and this is a great hat. It's got lights on it. I don't know if you can see the lights. You press it twice, and the lights here. Just a beautiful hat. If it will have that too for night running, and then we've got our, our regular lights here too, and we've got a third light, a hand light here too, and that gives you a lot of light on night running. So, this will be in my backpack too. Now, I've got icebreaker socks. So we'll get those on. Now before I do that, of course I put the sock on, but I'll put on body glide on my feet, in any areas, sheaf and areas, on my nipples, along my arms, and in the crotch area, and on my feet. Very generously I'll put body glide on. So we'll get my socks on. And we got ready for that. And let me backtrack for a while. I've got four more baby gourmet foods. And I've got an extra pouch here for more baby gourmets. And the baby gourmet, I can get two pouches in. I can get two pouches in, in this pouch. In this packet right here. So I'll, st I'll stick that on like this. If I can get that on, <coughs> I'll put this backpack on. Let's get it straight on. Here we go. I've got all my stuff. And actually, this is quite a bit of weight after when these bottles are filling everything. But at first, it's a lot of weight. But I'm ready to roll for a six hour plus run. This Sunday we're going to do a six and a half hour run, but after three and a half hours we're going to stop and reload up. So we won't be taking everything at once. But we did an eight hour run just this last week at the Kludak Trail on Vancouver Island. It was between Port Renfrew and the Jordan River. And we, I packed everything for this, but I had enough water, enough food, enough hydration. And I packed myself exactly the, the way I am right now. And we had, I've always had the five baby gourmets, so the two other baby gourmets still go in my backpack. So uh, I think I covered everything on that. We've got the light here, so we've got that. And 
we covered it all, you guys. This is what it takes to feel comfortable, hydrated, and fueled up for that long run. So thank you very much, guys, for this. I'm glad I could share all this with you. And if you have any comments or questions about this, don't hesitate to uh, ask me. Now, next thing, a recommended book to read from my classic library, the classic from all my library. This is a great book published in 1983 by a gentleman named Dennis, Dr. Dennis Waitley, and it's called Seeds of Greatness. Doc, Dr. Waitley was uh, the sports psychologist for the uh, 1980 Olympic, U.S. Olympic teams. But he's, I'm just going to touch a little bit on, on it says Seeds of Greatness, and I'm going to read the 10 Seeds of Greatness. First one chapter, the Seed of Self-Esteem, the Seed of Creativity, the seed of responsibility, the seed of wisdom, the seed of purpose, the seed of communication, and then the seed of faith, the seed of adaptability, and the seed of perseverance. And the last one is called the seed of perspective. Great read. One of the best books I've read. So if you can find this book, Words of Wisdom. Very good book. So we covered it all, guys. I'm really excited. Uh, we won't be seeing each other for a while because uh, as of August 5th, a bunch of us are leaving for Leadville, Colorado, doing my third 100 miler. There's 19 to 20 people are going from Victoria, five of us runners and the rest on support crew. Uh, some are leaving August 3rd to acclimatize, and we have one gentleman, he's leaving on August 17th, the night before Leadville, and he's going to be a pacer for one of the runners. So we're all excited to go. I hope you got a lot from this session, and please, again, always post any questions or comments that you have. With your feedback, it's the best way I can help you. So take care. Remember, the trail guy.